I'm not going in the needle room. Oh no. F no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah. Here you go, internet. There's needles there. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. And I'm sure maybe that tent I could have caused. Crikey, that's a beauty. Look at the color on her. <laughs> this is my daughter apartment. And I pay the rent every month. She ain't lacking no shit. Obviously you can tell from looking around, this unit's basically destroyed, but unfortunately that's a risk and something that's gonna happen if you get into rental properties, but uh, that's what we're here for. You know, we wanna try to fix the problems that uh, savages create. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna see We still got the paperwork here It's, I mean, it's It's something like if James is talking and he needs something that It's kind of like showing him to show some of this stuff. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just we kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some some sort. I don't think so because unit number one says she does not live there. She just stays there. All her property is in a non-residential area because those little uh, you know uh, wardrobe or you know storage or something. Not be considered a, uh, a residence. A residence, not a living space. Right, right. I guess these things go too. <clears throat> Should we come forth too, honey? that is convenient for you with your schedule and I'll send them there. Over me or I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm listening. Being rude as fuck. I have not met Grant. I have spoke to Grant. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So, like, they could do it at any time of 24 hours. hours. Glad we could work it out and it's mutually beneficial yeah, for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mission accomplished! Just stick this across the front door so I can tell if somebody opened the door. Here you go, don't take your shirt. Kapow! Give me key, oh shit, key ain't even stuck down here! And gave him a mother my down there too! Yeah, like they run this mother bill! No, no, go on, go on, you could have gone back to Columbus. You don't come here running and telling me what to do. I'm just asking you why you are Don't even know, don't even start, no, no. I stay to my <laughs> self. I don't be cool with nobody. I stay down here. I'm trying to get my house together. The reason why my life keep going. I'm trying to see why my wall cracking it. Why I'm paying all this money. That bathroom wall about to fall apart. Just cakes and shit. That's all that, yummies. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. I'll get that floor in there with that, with that wool about to fall in. Well, we have to go back up that way. I'm getting the uh, the bathroom walk right now. And then I have to go back and get that outlet. 
Go knock on the door. Yeah. And then video camera. No, no. Go knock on the door and ask Bam to let them see his face for Kiki. Because Kiki said she's going to give me her key. I was going to move my stuff over there. Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. to the apartment and there's like a trail of bread crumbs except it bread crumbs it's up to shit and it's just like he pooped his pants and it was running down his leg and you could see like everywhere he stopped all the way back from uh the gas station down the street all the way up to the front of the apartment you know he must have uh filled with his key for a little bit at the front door because there's a bunch there room on the tree lawn to put all that stuff in that. Oh, look at that. They left us some pickled uh, jalapenos. Where's Spicy. the shrimp? They said they were leaving the shrimp. That's probably in the fridge. Probably in the brand new fridge that they somehow got. This place, 10 out of 10 sad. Yeah. Yeah. Check the barbie. Maybe the shrimp's on the barbie. Well, I'll take a gander, I guess. <laughs> what if it's not there? This is just some of the other tenants. Can you use a quick clean? Nah, that's flavor. I'm surprised there weren't roaches on there. Actually, it smells good. It has that. does smell good. Mmm, hungry. Vinci hungry. What we would call broom clean here at Holden Wise. Um, looks like she definitely came through and cleaned the unit up after she moved out. I mean, obviously, as you can obviously see what's going on here, it's a nightmare. She threw everything everywhere, and there's just horrendous smell coming from somewhere. So we're gonna have to figure out what that is. I don't know if it's like the fridge or what. Basically, a lot of times when someone will get evicted, they will just wreck a unit throw everything, break stuff, so it doesn't get used by anyone else or whatever. Come in here and get a close-up of this too. So like, you'll a lot of times find like old clothing, obviously, right? But those are like moldy socks. Um, I mean, that's a pretty good way to get hepatitis. So you gotta glove up before you come into these units because there's a lot of biohazards. No. Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. Police department. Three, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 703. Police department. Bailiffs just climbed through the window. They have to clear the house before myself or the movers can go in. They have to Stay clear they just shouted clear so it's you know safe for us to go in the move we took over the unit so I think they can probably go yeah everything's either theirs or the previous owners okay so it goes is this theirs also yeah it says free stuff so 
All right. All right. I got the TV here. Oh, it's probably not working, though, yeah. That didn't take that serious. So. You think? The bailiff department, is anybody home? If you're home, could you please come to the door and talk to me for a second? Are you Anthony? This is insane. This is insane. Well, he can't prove it. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I had to get the shovel out of my truck and clean poo out of the inside of an apartment building and off the sidewalk and I had to have people come and scrub it off. It was gross. So fast forward a couple weeks later, we get another phone call about this guy or about the uh, attendant calls in and says, hey, the washing machine has shit kicked on the inside of it, and so there's a dryer. You didn't say that, because you know it's a lie. This is my daughter's apartment, and I pay the rent every month. She ain't lacking on shit. So, of course, go there. This dude had just been, like, taking his, like, soiled clothes and sticking them in the washing machine without... Uh, rinsing them off even though he told me not to even use our washing machine so he's like got like you know a washing machine's not designed to get like shovelfuls of shit out of your clothes you know it's you gotta, you gotta do a little pre-treatment hello do you have a mouth yeah okay you don't know how to talk can you answer the question Took your camera. <laughs> yeah, you took off on me. No, bail. The further window is the one that looks open. Tell them you work here. What? Said, make sure you're polite. We love cops and tell them you work here. Okay. Like, hey, hey guys. I work for Home Wives. We're curious what's going on. I don't think there's any scenario. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> Tyler ain't moving off of that. Uh, you are his one. It's not like he can say no. I don't think he's doing it. There's, if the cops knew we were still in the car, he might have done it, but. John, I'm about to make you do it. I'm not walking over there, not when they're by the car. If they were by that green car still. Stay filming. The last good breath, man. It's gonna stink. You ever smell that before? It's really bad. Uh, I guess we're just gonna check to see how the door is. Thanks.
when the, me and the bailiff shut up the victim, I, you know, talked to the bailiff and I warned him. I'm like, hey, man, just so you know, this unit smells really bad. And, you know, the bailiff's like, yeah, right, man, how bad can it be, you know? He's done 100 evictions. He's like, ah, oh, it's nothing. We open the door. I immediately start dry heaving because the smell just like hits you in the face like someone hit you with a shovel. The bailiff like has to like turn away the smell so bad and he's trying to talk to the guy with his hand over his mouth and the guy's just like oh it's not me it's not me it's not my smell. And when uh if, when we uh, put a lock on there we're gonna give you a key. I know but they, that key can't be that kick. You see that? I didn't even know they broke the lock because I, I had a key two weeks ago. But I need the key now for. Right. But we're yeah. gonna put a lock on there, and we're That's gonna, we're gonna I give it to you. That's when I started the butcher knife, <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. What's killing me is, once I move the car, I gotta move him at once. Yeah, yeah. Because when he left the body here, turn it over there. He took my keys to all my vehicles. <laughs> One and three fifths deep. You know, so rat poop, or mice poop, all over the place. And uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh god, this stinks. Yeah, um, it's been. Information, don't play with me. I don't care about y'all looking at me. I got them looking at y'all. Company anymore. Josh just got an estate first. Oh. He's gonna charge as an adult. Huh? Where are you see it from? They're uh Scar uh Star County, Star County? He's coming to pick him up. He's a juvenile. He's 18 and he was uh sent over from ODYS, you know, as doing juvie life, <laughs> basically. Cause I mean, I like talking about you kills. I, I don't even be bothered with this basic. I'm just bothered with this basic because I'm tired of my stuff coming off. I think you're going to keep going off. I'm telling you, there's a thing here. But, the, but, but now I got other people. I, I got the commissioner in on me now. What the other key? Right here. They got to get one. He like to make complicated anyway. Flat out. Oh, now I got to get two. I want the two locks with the same key. That's what I want. But this your side. We can get the bigger side. That the puppies don't bite. They don't bite. Oh, I don't even know how they got outside. I thought they got outside. Yeah, they're nice Here and cute. Here go the breaker boxes. Breakers? Who right. are these people? And then I got to act wait for 20, 30 days to Excuse get my damn dog I'm going to go in here one more time. Well, Joe's dog's got fancy hair, girl. But you ain't even trying to cut my dog. I don't got time. Oh, he got a room or something? Hey, yeah, it's all wet. Guest appearance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are at the house. We just pulled up to the house. I got my crew out there. That's John. And then we got all the the court appointed movers are all here. How much of their belongings are in the car? Or in the house, rather? Probably about 75%. No one's there. I'm expecting they'll probably come back, though, because Dave said they pulled off right before. Um, yeah, we thought the boyfriend other. was Thompson's car the whole time because no. he kept staring at us. Well, yeah, Thompson's <laughs> like <laughs> those guys videotaping them. Yeah, he wants to hang out in the dark. Mm -hmm. And I took the one out there too. That was upstairs when I come in. I just click it on the side mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. See, that was for my sake. Mm -hmm. And it goes right down the stairs in his unit. I start banging on the door. I'm like, dude, come on. He's like, oh, that's not me. That's not mine. I'm like, there's a trail from point A to point B. But since these motherfuckers been coming in, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hotel. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, set the record straight, they don't live in apartment one. Angel Is that the man that like the cans? Because I got two bags of cans up there for him.
This apartment was completely redone a few months before this tenant moved in. There's a bailiff right there. We have another bailiff up there. This Escalade uh, right there is actually the tenant who is currently being evicted. Uh, she's kind of just running around, screaming, wanting to know where the landlord is. Remember, this person has known that this has been coming for seven months. This person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now. And, uh, you know, today is the day. She's got done talking to the bailiff. Looks like she's gonna be pulling off now. Here, yeah, why not? You know, I, I know a lot of these people, and you know, my heart goes out for them. Especially all of them. What, what was you saying? Bruh. Hey, dude, I have nothing more to say, man. Okay, yeah, right. He's been doing this a long time. I mean, 34 years. Yeah, yeah. He's seen every kind of lock there is. Hello, Bailey. Trying to trying to pop all the pins. Let's see. You still got the paperwork here. It's, I mean, it's, it's something like if James is talking and he needs something, then instead of like showing him, he show some of this stuff. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just, we could kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some, some sort. Residence? A residence, not a living space. Right, yeah. right. No so bathroom. If you need us to haul around here, we did yesterday, we'll do it again. Okay, I told, I, I, told, I told her she had 15 minutes to gather her stuff and get out. Yeah. So if you guys want to swing by again in a couple you minutes. Right uh, let me holler down real quick. Let me see if she's getting out. Tell her the police that were here yesterday are here today. Okay. If she wants to go, we got a free ride. Okay. <laughs> Bro, what, what was she saying? Bro, hey. I have nothing more to say, man. Okay, yeah, right. He's been doing this a long time. I mean, 34 years. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah. Here you go, internet. There's needles there. 
Looks like the tenant just left trash like everywhere, including the balcony. Um, the good thing about this unit actually though, is that it includes, if you were to rent this, <laughs> if you were to rent this, it includes no doorknobs, but it does have a Lamborghini included with the rent. Um, that's an amenity provided at no charge. Obviously, you can tell from looking around, this unit's basically destroyed, but fortunately, that's a risk and something that's going to happen if you get into rental properties, but uh, that's what we're here for. You know, we want to try to fix the problems that uh, savages create. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. West. Well, <laughs> another successful eviction. This property, this is located in Cleveland, Ohio. So we took all of that crap out of the apartment. So to get us to be allowed to do that, we had to spend 750. Then the actual cost of taking all the guys over there and removing all that crap, changing the locks, 1147 Anything that the tenant wanted or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside they can go to their pile of stuff and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them at five o'clock, we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. You can't just leave crap everywhere. You'll get a fine from the city. Notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if, that, if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life, the fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. So these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him and they're getting his shit on their clothes. Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way. Uh, so we're gonna let these guys do their thing. I got my flashlight, I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. I guess there's two, like, I feel like a lady's living down here for a little while. I helped Mama out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement, but it's like, it looks like a mess, but it was all closed on top of this before. So it was even worse. A lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just, like, ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it, and take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And the canvas. But I helped take care of the... You got a hard working American down there in North Carolina. Tried to be the nice guy, tried not to evict her for those first three months, and now he is seven months into this thing, and this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away. How you doing? Good. Um, yeah. For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date. The mass of, get that mouse, the mass of cockroaches and mice that are in this unit that I'm sure maybe that tenant could have caused. Crikey, that's a beauty. Look at the color on her. <laughs> I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm going to be paying, no, man. You guys can't be no, here, man. But you understand, I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand, this is actually my house, bro, and, and you're not actually paying no, for it. You can't be coming up so, here. So, oh, bro, shit. Oh, my God. Bro, what bro, is he bro, doing? Bro, bro. Look, look, look. I'm coming Holy here. Holy shit, did you have to see bro, that? I'm trying. All right. Let's check out the inside and see what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. There's always a couple of nettles.
It's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.